Hey guys, good morning. Okay, so I was trying to show you how I get started in Skyrim, and it didn't go real well. <laughs> um, the first step went well, but the first step is easy. The second second step is a little trickier because we have to steal a spell <coughs> from a particularly nasty. Uh, bandit leader and he doesn't like giving it up <laughs> um, <coughs> the wisp mother okay. and I'm trying not to air quotes cheat if you know what I mean um, and so Okay, let's just go see if we can pull it off. And I think we're on basically normal. Let's see here. So that's... Okay, so... I guess... I don't know. To me, adept is normal. You know? Um, but I mean, could drop it down to apprentice. <coughs> I mean, if we move it all the way down to novice, we can do it. So, I guess... That's a kind of cheesy solution if we can't make it on Adept. We had a really easy time against those skeletons. Um, kind of makes me wonder if I should just go... See, upgrading that steel sword would be a good idea. It's stolen though, isn't it? Didn't I steal it? Stolen. Okay. God How much, no. much money do I have? I have <coughs> eight fifty-three. So I'm not broke or anything. Rain. <coughs> Rain sounds kind of weird. What if my sound is messed up? I had I had problems with sound this morning. I could buy a steel ingot from That's her. Good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More the finest weapons and armor. I'm sure she has steel. Yeah, of course she doesn't. <coughs> now we can make it. We need raw corundum. Okay, well, just so happens Don't I know. To check the shop if I know where to get corundum. There's Corundum right up there. Now, another thing we can do. You can go to Dawnstar and cheat. <laughs> you can get this guy. Um, I think it's... The unofficial patch may fix it. I'm not sure. Might go look. But upgrading this... This steel sword might help a little bit. And I think the only thing that guards it are some wolves. The operative word here being think. Yeah, it's just wolves. Silver ring, that'll help. <coughs> we'll use that in an enchanting yeah so there's some corundum we don't have a damn pickaxe <laughs> oh son of a bitch <laughs> I forget all the early challenges you face in Skyrim Okay, <coughs> let's go get a pickaxe. <laughs> Not a problem. We'll go to the mines. <coughs> this mine over here is usually where I go 
first thing anyway um, if I'm not doing the the run for uh because see what we're trying to do we're trying to we're, we're trying to raise our blacksmithing a lot <clears throat> and at the same time it'd be nice if we could um, make some money and so when the game first came out it didn't matter what you made so this is the the back entrance of the mine but we'll go in the front entrance because it's kind of standard <coughs> and so when Skyrim first came out we all just went out and dug up a bunch of iron ore and then we'd sit there in town and hammer out hundreds of daggers because it didn't matter well then that little trick got patched okay fine we'll adapt and adapt we did and there was this relatively unimportant spell that allows you to I think it's called transmutation I'm not sure I think this guy will see me even if I try to sneak yeah. <clears throat> and so what happened was we decided to the reason I'm picking everything up is for um, uh, selling so you get your speech craft up where's okay maybe it's in here and so what you do is you go and you get this spell and the spell allows you to turn iron ore into silver and then silver into gold because what the, the way they change things is now your blacksmithing skill up is based on the the value of the item you just made which is fair I, I don't have any problem with that Shit. God damn it. Really? I got stuck in the water? Fucking shit, game. That is such bullshit. So I could have come up here, but I couldn't come. Ugh. God damn, this game is pissing me off. There's my pickaxe. And now, we can mine. <coughs> See, I normally drop down and backstab one of them, and then I've only got one bandit to fight. But the game decided, no, fuck you. We're going to put this bullshit one-inch ledge in front of you that you can't step over and fuck up your, <coughs> your sneak attack. Thanks a lot, game. Dick move. <coughs> of course, it's early in the fucking morning. wouldn't mind a steel dagger as well. That would be helpful. <clears throat> yeah, I have to be careful. The, um... I've been playing Outer Worlds, and... <coughs> the, um... The stealth system in Outer Worlds is simpler than this, and I can I've gotten used to just running up behind people, crouching and stabbing, and can't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, nothing particularly valuable up here. Oh, there's two of them. See? Okay, he's coming in here. Okay. There he is. So if we can get our backstab. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we can sell all this. Oh. If we hide in the shadows, I think we'll be okay with our 100 stealth.
Do, 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 do. There's a dude right in there. Oh no, he's right by the he's right by the door. This torch is gonna be a problem. Maybe I can grab it. Give us some shadows here. Grab this. Really get us some shadows. So we can get her. <laughs> Gotta love that 100 stealth. Okay. I want that right now. <coughs> because my lock picking is shit. <laughs> Meridia's beacon. That's where this starts. A new hand touches the beacon. Hmm. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Okay. That's a good quest. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreek. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. What if I don't want to be the instrument of your cleansing light? <laughs> That's a good quest, though. <coughs> you get a a um, pretty cool looking sword. Is it Dawnbreaker? Am I thinking of the right sword? <coughs> if you can get your hands on it early enough, um, it's a good sword to have. Uh, later in the game, it's it's just merely okay. Uh, let's drop those torches. We don't need them. I think they're weapons. Classify as weapons. No, they must be under miscellaneous. Okay. Um. Yeah, so. We used to just make iron daggers, and we'd get a hundred smithing, and then you're good. You can now make the best gear in the game. Congratulations. So, that got nerfed, and, you know, justifiably so. And so, like I said, people um, adapted. <laughs> and so now, the current state of the art is to go get this, um, to go and get this, uh, do, 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 I think I'm full, aren't I? Uh, yay! <coughs> you get this spell, and you convert iron ore to silver, and then, um, what, what I do is, you'll notice as you adventure, you pick up, um, we don't want to be digging iron ore while those guards are patrolling. <coughs> and so you, you're you going to pick up amethysts and other gems. Those can be used to craft particularly valuable necklaces and rings. And so what you want to do is you want enough silver. Now ain't this a surprise. <laughs> And so you make you make the gold and silver based on um, yeah we're full. You make the gold and silver based on what gems you have. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. I think we, did we get everybody? I think we got everybody. Yeah. Okay. And you use. You use that to tell you how many of each. Um, see this? See the amber, uh, the garnets and stuff. That'll tell you how how much silver and how much gold you need. Because some gems get used in silver jewelry, some gems get used in gold jewelry. Jewel, jewelry, not juries, jewelry. <laughs> and <coughs> you make what you can in terms of your your gem supply. And then you just start making um, gold, gold jewelry, and that will level up your smithing 
the fastest. It's not quick. I'm not going to lie to you on that one. It's it's time consuming. Um, but yeah. It's very important. Let me see if I can not break a lock pick. Yay. Scrolls are very valuable. Okay, let's find a, a safe spot over here to drop some of this. I'll probably drop one of those axes or something. And then we'll, we'll have to make two runs to clear this place out. Might check and see if I've got something. I think I accidentally picked up a goblet earlier. Get rid of those. Well, I think those guys are gonna. I think they're gonna deep up. Oh, we got a dwarven mace. Nice. Um, let's see, staff of flames. Nice. Uh, steel mace, steel sword, steel war axe. Well, that's nice. Uh, let's drop the iron great sword. I think that'll get us where we need to. Get. And I wanted to see. I had anything stupid on me here. Yeah, there we go. It's not going to help much, but, you know. I think in order to... see, will stuff on the ground depop? Because I think it will. So that's a 30. That's a 26. Now I need to lose 5. Okay. I don't remember if those are going to depop. I think they will. But we don't really have any choice. We've got to run this. We need to go sell this stuff. Because we need money. Money, 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 money. Do, 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 do. I mean, you can come at this from... I mean, eventually you want to come at it from both angles. But the way to increase your survivability in Skyrim is through training. So training up light armor. And then there's a few other skills that can increase your survivability. <coughs> and gear. And you will get access to really good gear faster if you make it because take what you need my friend within reason of course hmm. blades helmets crafted gear is better okay that's the best weapon i've found hmm i'm going to have to hold on to that okay we don't need an iron dagger we don't need an iron mace okay Let's see every time we sell so that's a 22, and that's a 26. See, speech goes up. So it's so that's a 30. Now I'm wearing a 32. Well, okay. Fur bracers, fur armor. Okay, let's raise one of those up and let's see. How they come. Like boots. Fur shoes. Like bracers. Fur bracers. Fur shoes. Iron shield. Miscellaneous. Okay. Until next time. Let's 
Let's get some leather. Okay. And then let's see what we can do with this fur armor. If it's a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Let's see, hide armor. Right, yeah, fur armor. Okay. 32. That's the same as what we're wearing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to bother. I'll just sell. Come here, dude. May the gods watch over your battles. But Thank you. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, we'll just sell this. I couldn't remember what was worth buying and what wasn't worth. Uh, <laughs> well, that's awfully ex expensive. See, that's a little buggy. I was clicking on miscellaneous and I didn't get it. Uh, see, he doesn't have. Until next time. Let's see. The problem with this, with this forge or this smithy, is there's no forge, so we can't, we can't make, we can't turn ore into the ingots we need. So we need to get. We came over here for some loot, and I wanted to see how well I'm doing in combat. Um, and so, you can you can train up your armor skill, and that'll make you more survivable, or you can train up your blacksmithing, alchemy, and enchanting and make yourself better gear. Ultimately, you want to do both. But when you're when you're asking yourself which should come first, in my opinion, over the long term, the going at it from the crafting angle first is easier. It's just this first step can be difficult on the higher on you know, if you said it's a no, if you said it's a novice, we don't have a problem. We can go do it. But if you're not playing on novice, some of the bandits over there can mess you up because your gear is so crap and your armor skill is crap. And those damn bandit casters that normally I wouldn't even bat an eye at. Okay, they didn't. They must they must depop over Oh Did the stuff go away? Oh there it is. Okay. It just it just went crazy with the physics. And, yeah, sometimes the physics in this game wonks out. It's not perfect. I swear to God, people want games to be absolutely perfect and flawless. And it's like, guys, you're never going to get it. You know, I, perfection is a goal, not a state of being. And yes, Bethesda should be working towards perfection. But the problem with that is if Bethesda were to come back and say, okay, Elder Scrolls 6 will not be released until it's perf until it's perfect. Guess what? Elder Scrolls 6 will never get released. So, you know, there has to be a cutoff point <laughs> where you just push back, you push back away from the computer and go, it's good enough, ship it, you know. Um, you know, I wrote a novel and at a certain point, once I, you know, I edited the damn thing seven times. And I had a, I hired a professional editor to edit the book, and at a certain point, I had to just let it go. I'm like, it's good enough. It's you know, it's as perfect as we can make it within a reasonable amount of time. Because at a certain point, you need to ship it. <laughs> you know, if you never ship it, then the book never has a chance to be seen. If you never ship your game, the game never has a chance to be played. Um, these iron ore veins. They will respawn. For some reason, a week is popping into my head, but that might not be correct. In fact, it's probably not correct because I haven't, like I said, I haven't played in a year. <clears throat> Let me go back and make sure I got all the iron ore out of this place and all the 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 loots. I want all the loots, mainly for money and speechcraft checks and whatnot. 
Sometimes some of these iron ore outcrops can be a little tough to spot. So you know me, sometimes I talk about geology. And when we're talking about iron ore, um, we're usually talking about um, silicate rocks. Well, yeah, so silicate, silicate rocks. And <coughs> they have, they're enriched with respect to iron. But, you know, what we're talking about here, wait a minute, spider eggs. I think those are, yeah, those are um, alchemy. Let's, let's eat one. And so, uh, the, the rock is mostly silica, and the, um, the iron concentration is, I want to say, 1%, you know, nothing terribly fantastic, it's a very low percentage, and these, um, these companies, they have to, they have to mine massive quantities of of this iron ore and then smelt it down they heat it up and they're they able to um, use uh, the um, the differential nature of the specific gravity of the materials and so what that means is uh, or just just the density of them um, the uh, the iron floats to the top I think it, I think it floats yeah I think the iron floats to the top. Maybe not. Is it subtle? Yeah, either way, <coughs> the materials are differentially uh, segregated within the vessel, and then they're able to extract the iron from the other materials that they don't want. And of course, you know, you have to heat rock up to, you know, some of them are 1600 degrees Celsius to melt them. So, you know, damn hot. That's, you know, that's why you've always seen the blast furnaces with the <coughs> with the um, the red hot liquid metal pouring out of it. I think we got everything. I think. There was some down there. Yeah, we got that. I uh, don't think there's any in there. Okay. I don't think there's any that in there. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. So now we can go mine up some corundum, make a steel ingot. Well, either that or we can just use the dwarf mace, which we're not that heavily invested into. Yeah, because see, the the dwarven mace is significantly better than anything we currently own. It looks kind of stupid, but I don't I don't like maces. I think they look dumb. They're effective. Not not uh I'm not saying they 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 suck. I just don't like them. I think they look stupid. I like swords. I bought a sword. <laughs> I have a real sword. Bought it at the Renaissance Fair Saturday. $410. It's pretty bitchin' though. It's a real sword. It's not a toy. And that's what I wanted. Mm hmm Okay, so we'll go sell. And we will get some corundum. <laughs> well, I got the Dwarven Mace, so I don't really care about upgrading the steel weapon now. We'll see if this Dwarven Mace will get us in there. I don't know if it will or not. I don't know if we can make it. We're going to try. All we can do is try. Oh, the shops are all closed. Alright. Yeah, let's just go sleep in our bed. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is the right house. Yeah. Okay, I think 
Yeah, it says owned. No, this one. Okay, let's sleep for eight hours, and that'll give us the old well. I think it's. I think this game has well rested, doesn't it? Just like Fallout. So now, oh, it's under magic. Uh, active effects rusted. So five percent. You know. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Okay. Make yourself at home. I'm spoken for, you know. So don't oh. get any ideas. Oh, I didn't pay attention to to what time of day it was. Hmm. They lock me out. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, four hours. That'll be halfway into my rusted bonus. You know, for a blacksmith, he sure keeps banker's hours. Nice weapon you have there. But I don't suppose you'd consider putting it away. Hey, unless you're here to sell that weapon of yours, why don't you put it away? I forgot the they got sooner you pissing. find the cloth. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Let's see here. Alright. We don't need that. Don't need that. We'll hold on to that. Uh is this stolen? No. Okay. So we don't need that. Okay. We might need that for um, enchanting. Sell all this. Hold on to that for magical training. Studded armor. It's a 30. I don't think... Okay, let me see. I don't need that. Alright, I need to read those. And we're good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's read these books. Clairvoyance is garbage. Okay, so um I'm gonna go check that did I sell that armor? I don't think I did. Losing my mind. What little bit there is of it. That was. Oh, that was the. The lumber mill. Yeah, no. Okay. He just doesn't want to come. Do business, does he? Alright. Don't let my sister do anything foolish. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay. See, we're at 1,500. <coughs> we're doing well. Okay. So let's see what we can get done. Yeah, I'm just going to save. Uh, you should save more often than I've been saving. Okay, let's see if we can get that spell. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. <sighs> Man, it's really unfortunate we got that big crabby. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go kill him. I want little crabby. I don't want big crabby. See, big crabby hits too hard for training. We need the smaller crabby. And then that this way, there's time for little Krabby to respawn. Oh, I didn't pick that up. Mm, okay. Or I did pick that up, or whatever. Oh, let's go back in our pack here. And let's, uh, let me see. Is that... Okay, favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay. 
get in some archery practice over here. God know we need God knows we need it. Did he already spook? Holy Oh, he's after you being chased by wolves. Gotcha, bitch. I'm not sneaking because I'm particularly afraid. I'm sneaking because I want to try to get the sneak attack shot. Because you get more skill up because you're doing more damage. I'm not going to pick up his pelt right now. That's not the goal. Archery can be uh, difficult to, to level up because you need ammo. Um, early on, ammo is a little thin on the ground. Eventually, as you kill more and more bandits... Oh, this dude. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I should be grateful you didn't simply. I am one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. Returning to High Rock, our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Kesh could tell you more. I just want out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. I think this is a quest. Yeah. <laughs> nice dwarven armor. There's a there's a particularly fun quest that I saw a elk and I wanted to shoot it and it's giving me the slip. There it is. Nice. Um, there is a quest to go into a Dwemer ruin and have some fun and you also get you get this really nice uh, perk and it what does it do it, I think it gives you extra experience there's an extra experience when making dwarven armor and weapons whatever it is you, I mean, if, if, if you're into smithing, especially if you're into heavy armor, you definitely want that that quest, and you want that, that perk. It's really good. Yeah, here's some corundum. Now we can make steel ingots. Honestly, I usually just skip right past steel. I'd forgotten how pissy people get about walking around with your weapon out. Now what we can do if we start having difficulty with um, carry capacity uh, I usually use I usually use <laughs> how about I normally use there's a barrel in town right next to the to the forge to the smithy over here in white run and you can you can put stuff in there and it won't disappear and it won't get flagged you have to be really careful with that um there is some pretty useful stuff over here with these farms, these these butterflies are pretty useful for uh, alchemy. I think the blue ones are the ones I want, but I don't remember. Um, hay. Hay is really good. There's a very nice potion to skill up on, and hay is one of the components. And so, just to save yourself a a trip while you're over here. Grab the hay. Make hay. <laughs> Let me see here. There's some iron ore over here. 
We're going that away. Just behind. Just can't remember exactly where all the iron outcrops are. If if you don't like this this type of gameplay, you know, exploring and poking around and seeing what's over the next hill, this game isn't for you. Because this is what this game is all about. Getting out here, poking around, sniffing around. Um, no, it's you know, it's about no, it, it this Skyrim has a a good story. I wouldn't call it great. But it's certainly a good story. Um, it's got some good side quests. Um, but what Skyrim has is lots of little systems to interact with, and lots of factions, and uh, you know, games within the game to go play. You know, the, the crafting system is is pretty robust. Is it balanced? No. Crafting is the route to overpoweredness in this game, which is why I take it. I wish um, that loot, that found loot, was more important. Um, found loot is important early, but later you, it's much better to make your own stuff. Uh, you know, so... As the saying goes, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not one to sit back and lament the system for being the way it is. I'm just going to, you know, work within the system and make a nice, powerful character and enjoy the game. You can, you can choose to sit there and bitch about Skyrim's. Ooh, that's a good find. There's some. Gold. Oh, okay. <coughs> you know, you can gnash your teeth and bitch, piss, and moan. And <coughs> or you can just you shut the fuck up and get to work. But I suppose if you if you hate crafting, then this the, the, this game isn't for you. I don't. I really don't see someone who despises crafting enjoying this game. Now, if you dislike crafting, but you can put up with it, you're going to be just fine. Oh, the drinkers. Yeah, These guys stand around and drink. I don't think they do anything, though. I don't think they're part of a quest or anything. They're just getting drunk on mead. And let me tell you something, you can get drunk on mead. Oh my god. Mead is... <laughs> Mead's got about three times to four times as much alcohol as beer. You mess you up. Tastes better too, in my opinion. I've never been a big beer fan. Just, it just doesn't hit my palate the way other people seem to enjoy it. And I screwed up and spooked a deer. Oh well. Well, we're almost there. <coughs> oh, here we go. Nope, I spooked him. Okay, so just hit R. And you'll put away your weapon. Yeah, while I'm out here, I should, I should sneak more often. Yeah, get those blue butterfly, blue butterfly. Okay, so we're going. Let's see, make sure I go to the right place. What's this dude doing? Oh, is this the guy that runs and? And gives you a magic item. You there, please. You have to help me. I was attacked by a vampire. Do you have a potion or something that can cure this before I turn? No. <laughs> then get out of my way. I have to get to a town and find a priest. Yeah, if you get the vampirism vampirism disease and you don't want to turn, just go to town and um and use a, a shrine, and you'll be okay. If you don't know, um, vampirism can can be very, very overpowered. 
if you don't have the um, the unofficial patch. If you're using the unofficial patch, it got air quotes fixed. So you know, just be advised. <laughs> okay, so what I want to this is the the bandit encampment that we're going for here. I don't know how well this is going to go. So we're going to wait for dark. There we go. Okay. You can just tab out of the... Now you can sneak in the back way right here. But I'm not entirely sure that that's easier. <laughs> <laughs> because the I th if I remember correctly what makes this really difficult is the leader the leader is he's he's a handful at low level and so we gotta get in this compound without getting noticed and we're getting noticed already oh son of a bitch <laughs> I didn't see him sitting there Okay. Um, oh, good. This got broken. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can get this guy without anybody else noticing. <laughs> that would be a no. We're gonna get. Okay, we gotta get that. Gotta get this caster. Okay, we got a power attack. That's good. And we got an archer to deal with. Okay, so, so far, so good. Okay. But, quite frankly, this was the easy part. <laughs> I'm not going to pick up everything. Yeah, this was the easy part here. Flawless Garnet. Yeah, we will come back for these people. For their stuff. Uh, let's see. These steel arrows will come in handy. Iron arrows. Imperial bow. That might be useful. I'm not sure if that's better than my hunting bow or not. Is there a crafting table here? Sometimes there is, and sometimes there isn't. You'd be surprised. Yeah, look there. Grindstone. Let's see if we can upgrade that bow. Uh, Requires steel ingot. Interesting. That is better. Okay. Okay. <sighs> it's a judgment call at this point. Do you want to return to town? Or do you want to... Um, you know, we could go back to town and level this thing up a little, but it's only going to go up a little bit. It's not going to jump up a bunch. So I'd say for now, let's just let's save our game and see if we can get this done. If we can get this done, then I can finally show you the last step for my How I Begin Skyrim video, which has turned into a series because <laughs> I had so much trouble earlier. Okay, watch out for those. Well, see, I have the stealth, so I don't... the stealth skill that I don't set that off now. It's really important to get your backstabs on these guys. Because they were one-shotting. And that's a good thing. Uh, I see. Okay, do I want to do that? Yeah, I'm really hurting for lock picks right now. So, what what you might want to do sometimes is not pick up those keys, because then you get the XP for um, now. What I'm about to do will probably go to shit on me. Just because of the way things have been going. But, the way I do it, I kind of hope for a little bit of luck here. 
these are oil pots and they will they will fall on those people okay and so what I'm trying to do here Oh, I almost got him. What the fuck, game? Oh, I heard something. Okay. Come on. Gotcha. There we go. Yay! And he has good stuff. Steel dagger. I can't believe I'm excited about a steel dagger. <laughs> All right. Yay, that went perfectly. Yay, we did it. Yay. Poacher sacks. Okay. Okay, I don't want to load up on all that stuff. Because what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. There's there's iron ore in here, and that's good. What we're here for is right there. Transmute mineral ore. Ore. Sweet. We're set. That drought of strength will come in handy. That went absolutely perfect. It, it couldn't have gone better. Pushing the strength. Leather boots. Iron dagger. There's some iron ore in here. Iron sword. This is stuff I would normally take, but for now, what I do is I'm focusing on uh, see here's the iron ore good 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 I'm really focusing on I want to skill up my smithing so I can increase my gear and so now what we're going to be focused on is going to all the known iron ore mines cleaning them out transmuting that iron ore into silver and gold silver and gold ooh dwarven bow very nice find excellent find an elven bow would be better but that is a good find right there uh yeah and I'm gonna have to make a decision about uh, spending those smithing skill points which way I want to go with those because I normally, j early I just go up the light armor line. Okay, pay attention. Let's not break this. Okay. I should have checked Bellathor for some pick lock picks. Yeah. There, I know some fellas who sell lock picks, but they are, they are far away. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so if you don't have, um, if you don't have stealth, be very careful going into this cave. It's full of traps. And at low level, they can't hurt you. <sighs> okay, so we've got the spell. And so I'm going to stop the video. It's getting a little long. And then we'll I'll show you the next steps in the next video. Be right back.